reflecting on how the bridging design prototype approach could contribute to the concept of autonomy. Bridging design prototypes, it's a human-centered design method for individual designers or small organizations. In this presentation, I undertake a reflection on their possibility of supporting the field of autonomy, community design in a pluriversal world. A bridging design prototype is a fully functional rapid prototype built with features familiar to a user community and with novel features a designer incorporates after careful analysis of relevant data. It capitalizes on a user community's prior knowledge and recognizes their context realities. These characteristics bring users into the development process early because they accept to incorporate it in their real activities at the same time, individual designers or R&D teams use it for learning about the community, the context, and the practice. Highlighted principles of the BDP approach make it suitable for autonomy. These are prior knowledge and familiar interactions, broaden participation, participate in design. My BDP for preschool concept mapping was reoriented to teach interactive language learning in a Netherlands school setting between 2012 and 15. A meta-analysis on reported findings illustrates how BDPs might facilitate a community to achieve the goals of itself. Five Escobar's autonomous design principles inform the analysis. Principle, every community practices the design of itself changing norms from within by changing tradition traditionally. Rhea Kiken and Elise Enns, a speech therapist and coaches at the school, attended the concept mapping workshop and learned to encourage children to make their own connections between concepts using the voice recorders. So they decided to explore uses of the BDP with children with speech impairments. Principle. Every person or community is a practitioner of its own knowledge. Concept mapping with the PDP integrated well with the interactive language learning approach. No additional work for the teachers, transfer to the whole team, co-teaching was possible. Inspired by the PDP, one teacher developed an application for the interactive whiteboard. Teachers could save results and reuse the concept map in another learning activity. Teachers were extremely happy with this application and its multiple possibilities. Principle. In first place, a community designs a system of investigation or learning about itself. Concept mapping with the BDP added value in vocabulary learning. It took teachers and children some effort to increase word networks and let go of all the strategies. Teachers learn to use open questions and listen to what the children meant by asking more questions. Also, they facilitated children to show more of their own thinking. Conversation exchange was more child-initiated and interactive. Children themselves established relationships between concepts and completed each other's sentences. Principle, each design process involves a statement of problems and possibilities, allowing the designer and the group ag agree on objectives and decide on alternatives for action. RIA and Elise's adoption model involve three pilots, escalating in participation and duration. Other outcomes involve dissemination, via teacher magazines, articles in media, books, conference papers. Ria and Elise started teaching the approach at other primary schools. Principle. The construction of the model of a system that generates the problem of community concern must have a concrete result in the design of series of tasks, organizational practices, and criteria to evaluate the performance of the design research activity. As the number of pilot participants grew, the organizational practices evolved. For example, 
In the Farmon pilot, concept mapping was done on themes. Practice was bi-weekly. Teachers were regularly observed and filmed. Internal councils will take the responsibility of coaching teachers in the future. Adoption via pilot's model of concrete experiences created consensus with teachers and school management. The evaluation criteria inform arguments for wide implementation. In 2016, the management decided to incorporate this tool at every level but preschool. Conclusions. Bridging design prototypes could advance projects informed by autonomous design principles, interested in having a community to design, implement, and evaluate their own designs, so their effects last beyond the participation of external designers. Explorations with BDP adaptations and a completely new design, for example, an app for the interactive whiteboard developed by a teacher, transformed speech therapists and teachers into designers. It also facilitated a bottom-up process of a novel educational tool adoption. The activities with the BDP shifted the center of a design process from its designer owner to the members of the school community. Thank you, everyone, and thank you, Pivot Team.